Good evening, Year 12. Uh, this is Mr. Bono. Uh, first of all, I just want to say, for those of you who've been really engaging, digging into the tasks, uh, I'm really impressed with some of the work that you're turning in, some of the creativity that you're showing in your writing, and I hope you'll continue that. And for those who've not yet gotten up to speed, um, whether you're a couple of assignments behind or um, as it may be, I hope you will uh, get going here soon because this is important for you and I, I just want you to take it one step at a time. Okay, so uh, no time like the present. Now, for term two, week three, that's where we are. I wanna walk you through today's task, okay? Uh, it will appear for you tomorrow as term two, assignment six. Um, that's for uh, Thursday the 21st. Okay, so as I click on that, it will take me to this brief description. You're completing activity three, parts one, two, and three from your unit four workbook, which is this one, okay? Um, that's pages 56 to 57, okay? Now, when I jump into that workbook, okay, I will come to activity three, okay? You've done the work leading up to that. Now let's read through the task together. Look at the student's response to the task. Write about a memorable holiday. So that's the task the student was given. Write about a memorable holiday. Now this is personal writing. It's not creative writing. Okay, just to remind you. Okay, so it should be coming from the student's experience. And here's what the student wrote. I will never forget the time the whole family went to Spain as it was my first time traveling on a plane, and I was extremely nervous. For weeks before, I had been so excited about having three full weeks in the sun. I spent hours online researching the hotel and the resort so that I knew what to expect and could make the most of my time there by trying out all that was on offer. Okay, now the examiner, uh, is suggesting write an improved version of this extract, okay, this piece of the student's essay to add interest and engage the reader. Now, you might go back to this and say, well, it's clear. I understand what the person's talking about. It's kind of interesting, okay? Your task here is to use the language techniques that you know okay, and use an enhanced vocabulary to make this more interesting. Now, the key that I wanna push you toward is this idea I keep repeating about show, don't tell, okay? So the person tells us that he or she was nervous because they were traveling on a plane, okay? We don't know what that was like. Your job as the writer is to try to make readers understand what you experienced, okay? Excuse me. So I'm gonna open up a Word document here, excuse me. And I'm gonna give this a go. Okay, I'm going to, you may want to do this as well, use the split screen um, if it helps you, so you can toggle back and forth between the documents. And, excuse me. Okay, so you use this just as a launching off point, and you can do a lot of changing to make this more interesting and engaging to the reader. Okay, so I'm going to start with this, um, this first idea, okay, that the person was extremely nervous and use that as a lead in, okay. I might just start with a really clear image of what that was like. Okay, if you've been nervous riding on a plane, you, you need to really think about your own experiences. What is it like to be really nervous in this situation? What would it be like if you haven't experienced it yourself? Thank you. 
in my mind, I was running through all of the things that could possibly go wrong. And I'll use a colon there to introduce my list. A jumping out of his seat with a bomb fired to his chest. Airplane seat. The plane suddenly dropping into free fall. The wheels coming off the plane while landing. My heart was racing as I tried to keep up with my parents walking to the gate where we would board our plane for I'm going to drop in that information now that I've hopefully gotten the attention of the the reader okay um, so I'm going to go back I will never forget the time the whole family went to Spain okay we would board the plane for our family vacation to Spain it was my first time flying what fun okay a little bit of humor and i'm varying the lengths of my sentences here okay i had a long sentence for description and that hopefully you probably don't need to do too much more than that now i can get into this part about um i might work in some of the other details I had been excited about three weeks in the sun, but in that moment, I was having second thoughts. Okay, you get the idea. Okay, but I'm trying to really bring the reader into the moment with me so that they can picture where I am and what's happening. Uh, at a particular moment where it will be of interest. Okay, now you can approach that how you want. You might want to focus more on the online research, okay, um, and the sort of obsessing that it sounds like this person was doing ahead of time, okay. But find a way to to bring the reader into the moment with you. Okay, step two. Okay, or part two. Now, yours needs to look very different from this. This was just to sort of coach you through what it might look like. Okay, I'd like you to take a different approach. You can still focus on the nervousness, but, but do it in your own way. Okay, now, part two says, below is one student's response to the task. Write a creative response that begins. As soon as I entered the room, I knew there would be trouble. Okay, again, this is still uh, personal writing, so it needs to be based on personal experiences, but it's creative in the way that it responds. As soon as I entered the room, I knew there would be trouble. The whole place was full of strangers, and I got a vibe that, would, that trouble would begin soon. It was meant to be a party, but no one looked in the mood to celebrate. Everyone stood in their gangs and whispered. There was one particularly mean looking guy standing in the corner. I said, let's get out of here, James. I think there's gonna be trouble. James agreed, 
but refuse to leave. Write an improvised version, excuse me, an improved version that engages the reader more effectively by adding more precise detail. Okay, so that's the key. Precise detail and vivid description. So I'll show you where some of that's missing. Okay, as soon as I entered the room, I knew there would be trouble. Okay, what is the person seeing as they enter the room? Okay, where is the person? What kind of room is this? Okay, you might add some of that detail so that we can picture ourselves walking in. Okay, now, are they knocking through those swinging doors like they had in the old style saloons? Or are they going through a revolving door? Or what? Okay, the whole place was full of strangers. Now, is this a small room, a big room? How many strangers are we talking about? Okay, you don't need to list every possible piece of information, but some specifics will help the reader have an idea of what to imagine. Okay, now I got a vibe that trouble would begin soon. What does it mean really to get a vibe? How do you feel that in your body? Or what's the thought that crosses one's mind? When it says, it was meant to be a party, but no one looked in the mood to celebrate. Okay, what does that look like? What's on, how can you tell? Is it their posture, their faces? Okay, it's just ideas about details you might add. Okay, when you talk about no one and everyone, it's very general. Okay, try to be more specific about very detailed things that you noticed. Okay, selective details. You don't have to list every detail. There was one particularly mean looking guy standing in the corner. What was mean looking about him? Okay, was he staring at you? Uh, did he have uh, a big scar across his cheek? Okay, what was it about this guy? Okay, and when this person says, let's get out of here, James, I think there's gonna be trouble. James agrees, but refuses to leave. That's a bit strange. So what does that say about James? What, what's James thinking? And how might you see that? Okay, is James looking for trouble himself? Is that why he's there? Okay. So it just needs to be a little more clearly imagined and some precise details, not loads, but some key precise details and vivid description will bring this to life. Okay, that's part two. And part three, below is an extract from a response to the task. Write about a time you experienced success. Okay, the student says, once I got into the exam hall, I was really nervous. I started to wish I had revised. For nearly two years, my teacher had been telling me how important this exam was, and only now did I realize it. Everyone else seemed to know what to write. It took me ages to get started, but I did my best, and soon it was over. Okay, now that whole thing just happened very quickly. The note at the bottom says, the student would benefit from slowing down time and being more descriptive. Okay, that will, again, make us feel like we're there, we can imagine it, and we can understand why uh, this is a, an important episode to be reading about. Okay, help us understand why, why it was so important to be successful in this uh, situation. Okay, so it says, benefit, the student would benefit from slowing down time and being more descriptive, write an improved version of the paragraph, which develops the situation. In other words, expands upon the details that are here, second by second, and describes rather than tells so that the reader can imagine the situation. Okay, just a quick example here. Again, there's nervousness. Find a new way to describe that. Okay, um, not just telling that the person's nervous, but showing. What are they doing? Do they have their hands uh, in fists in their pockets as they walk into the room. When the person says, I started to wish I had revised. Okay. 
maybe that's the brain racing. Okay. And how do you, how do you communicate what that was like to be in that head? For nearly two years, my teacher had been telling me how important the exam was. Perhaps they're hearing that teacher's voice in their mind. Okay, what did the teacher say? Again, expand on that idea. Okay, take it chunk by chunk as I'm doing here and think about how you can make it real for the reader. All right, those are your tasks. Uh, good luck and email me any questions you may have.